what's up y'all welcome to another vlog today i'm going to be taking you guys along with me throughout my work week so this is going to show all three shifts i'll be working this week which is tuesday wednesday and saturday for those who are not familiar with my channel i am a float pool nurse so i float to three different locations within my hospital network system so today i'm at the community hospital or one of the community hospitals i um, work at um tomorrow i'll be at the medical center and then saturday i'll be back at the hospital i'm at today so i don't know where i'm going i tried to call the staffing office ahead of time to try to see like where i'm supposed to be scheduled this shift but they didn't answer so we're gonna have to walk in and actually go to the staffing office to see so as i just said i don't know where i'm going but that's usually the case whenever i go to work but lately i've been trying to call ahead so i don't even have to walk over there but this hospital is small so it's not really going to take up too much of our time. So it's actually 627 now. I'm going to eat my yogurt real quick. I plan to walk in around 630, trying to look up my patients beforehand. If I'm on the floor I was on last time, they do huddle around 645. So I have a couple of minutes to look up my patients and all that. So I'll keep you updated to let you guys know where I'm going. But this hospital is pretty small. So either I'm going to be like on a message floor or the ortho floor. So, like I said, we'll see, and I'll take you guys along with me. Subscribe to my channel, you guys, if you have not already. Like this video before you click out, and we'll see how today goes. <laughs> He's happy with a good guy I've been drinking so much And I'ma call in you and say Fuck that nigga that you love so bad I know you still think about the times we had I say fuck that nigga that you think you found And since you pick up I know he's not around Oh, oh, oh Who's that saying? Tell me you have your bad legs I'm just saying you can do better And I'll start out and I'll leave you make me Girl, said he keeps on playing games And his loving ain't the same I don't know what to say, but I'm just saying so I've received two out of the, my four patients. I thought I was getting the first admission, but apparently they came like a little bit during night shift. So the nurse did mostly everything except for like the home ed. So I'll put the home eds in when I'm doing the first rounds, but I'm still waiting on a report for two more patients and it's like 7.38. So I'm kind of like, where are you at? I know the nurse's name and I looked in the hallways for her, but I've not found her. So I'm just kind of like, okay. Once eight o'clock hits, like I'm about to start pulling my meds because that's just what I do. But I'm like, where are you at, ma'am? Cups of the XO. All my people been here. I see all of my friends here. Yeah, she don't have the time to kick it no more. Lights in the morning. What you doing is so important. I've been drinking so much. But I'm going to call you anyway and say, fuck that nigga that you love so bad. All right, you guys, I'm going to try to give y'all a quick rundown because DNB or whatever they are called is supposed to be coming by today. So everybody up here is running around crazy. But anyway, so since I'm here, I fully staffed the unit. So we're actually four to one as far as I know. Uh, I had an admission. At the beginning of the shift, but it came a little bit at the tail end of night shift and they already completed everything for me. Only had to um, reconcile their home meds, so that wasn't that much to do. Uh, that patient that we admitted, he's a little bit of a butthole. He's pretty rude, but I got him the pain medicine he wants, so he should be all right for now. I don't know. He, he always coming up with something new to complain about, but he's here for dehydration. I have another patient here for left arm cellulitis another patient here for low sodium and also dehydration 
and well actually no it was high calcium not low sodium the low sodium goes with the first patient i mentioned who was here for dehydration and then the last patient i have let's see what is she here for i know she has like a seizure disorder but i don't think she came for seizures uh i think she had a syncopal episode that's right she had a syncopal episode um at home that brought her here no that's the one I'm thinking of with dehydration. I can't remember what the other one is here for, but I have it in my notes or whatever. I'm just going off the dome right now. But everyone's pretty stable. Um, hopefully that stays that way. Like I said, I have one butthole patient today and then another, another patient is confused. She didn't take like any of her morning meds for me. So by a certain time, if she still hasn't taken them, I'm just gonna chart like patient refuse. She's not oriented. So she's just like refusing to eat. So I'm thinking when lunch comes, I could try to sneak it in or whatever, but we'll see how that all goes. Um, that's it, really. I have two patients that possibly might go. They're all like either going to a SNP or a rehab. So um, just waiting for medical clearance for one, and then the other one I'm waiting for a bed. So we'll see how it goes today. Hopefully it stays chill. I'll keep y'all updated. Does it make sense now? So I'm actually like really busy. Um, I had to give labs on a patient and then as I saw like with the consent that he's going to get a thoracentesis um what else happened i ended up uh, discharging a patient and admitting another patient um one of my that butthole patient i was telling y'all about he like cussed out the text so now she wants me to get his vitals and sugars it's 4 39 so like the end of the day is almost here he's like the last person i gotta do um meds on and then i should be like good to go but that's what's going on, you guys. I'm gonna talk to you guys like at the end of the shift and like give y'all a summation of everything that happened. All right, you guys. I found this leftover Twinkie in my backpack from the last time I was at this hospital because they have like a snack room and I kind of like stockpiled a little bit on snacks because I knew there would be times like this. So, eating my little Twinkie on my way out. So today wasn't bad, but it was busy. I will say that. It was busy enough that if the day kept moving, like I didn't really have like a lot of downtime, but I had enough downtime to like half. It wasn't like constant, constant, but it went all right in my opinion, considering the fact that I didn't want to come to work today. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning for no good reason, had a hard time going back to sleep, wanted to call in and I came to work anyway. So for that, it was good. I did get up to five patients like for maybe like an hour but then after that I discharged one so then I was back down to four I mentioned before that one of my patients was a butthole apparently he called this nurse a moose I mean a nurse like a moose or something like that I don't know but I'll put the clip or the thing the note patient note in here because apparently she he did it in front of a physician assistant and they charted about it but they basically say like the patient is racist against filipinos and i guess he's just like an ass to everybody else i didn't have any issues with him but after i heard about that i told him like you can't just be like talking to people in your kind of way especially people who are taking care of you and stuff like that and after that they said that he was nice to them so i don't know all right car we gotta go so that's how my day went I'm ready to go home. I gotta cook when I get home. Not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to eating some good food. So I'm cool with that. So <laughs> tomorrow we'll be in the medical center. As I said many a times, I don't know how where I'll be. So we'll see when we get there. If you guys have reached this point in the video you need to go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed already like my video you guys and i'll see you guys on day two of three
What's up y'all? Welcome to day two of the vlog. So we are at the med center today. I'm on a sniff, like inpatient sniff unit today. I have been here like once before. I have five patients. I'll have to tell you about them a little bit later. Uh, started off like really busy-ish because like during a report, we were getting orders to like transfuse a patient. So the night shift nurse got the typing screen for me. I just sent it. When I go back in there to pass meds, I'm gonna get the consent. And then um, I think I have something going on with another patient too. I can't remember right now, but anyway, kind of hit the ground running. And then over here, there's only one Pixis on the floor. So one of the things I don't like about some of these units in the medical center, like pharmacy sends a lot of your medications. So you have to go through the patient bins and look through them like one by one to pull the meds. Whereas like normally you'll just get it from the Pixis. So like you're having to like get meds from the Pixis and like going through the bin. So it takes some time, especially when you have five patients. And since this is like a sniff floor, some of them have like 15 meds like in the morning. So it's kind of crazy. I pulled all my meds. Honestly, it took like 15 minutes to do so. Like I said, just kind of like a rough start. I haven't eaten anything yet. Normally, like y'all know I have my yogurt or something like before I get on the unit. But I left my ID badge in the car before, like after I found out where I was going. So I was like, I gotta go back to the car, then walk back to the unit. So it was just a hot mess. Um, I think once I pass this like first round or at least halfway through, I'll be able to eat something. I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping for a good day today nonetheless. So like I just said, we'll see how this all works out. But I'm definitely gonna show y'all like the med thing because that's like one of my things I don't like here. And y'all see what I mean when y'all see it, but keep plugging in. We'll see how this days go. All right, y'all. So I've not been able to really keep y'all updated throughout this um, shift because I've been incredibly busy. Like on top of them all having like 15 meds a piece and things like that. Um, one patient wound started leaking and they had a wound back and they have an ileostomy back. It was a hot mess. The charge nurse took care of that and the tech changed the bag for me. But while I was doing that, I was getting blood on another patient. So I had two patients I had to draw blood on like during the morning rounds. One was for a bank trough and one was because they didn't order any for nights. So that elongated like the morning rounds. So then by the time I'm done, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm about to start charting on everybody because I hadn't even charted on anybody at that point, which is like unusual for me. Um, it was time to give my other person their pain medication. So then I had to go do that. So it's kind of like one thing after another, you know, so now I'm finally somewhat like caught up. I tried it on most of the patients already. It's around noon. I didn't eat like anything for breakfast or snack or nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and take an early lunch. I just started a blood transfusion on a patient. I waited, you know, the allotted time or whatever to make sure she didn't have any reactions. So she's doing that now. And then after that, she's going to that outpatient cardiology appointment I was mentioning before, but I wanted to come in and show you guys like the bins and how full they are with like meds. So this is just an example of like the meds that come from pharmacy. And these are like very difficult to open. So then you have to like, I cut mine with scissors cause it's easier that way. So basically like the meds I gave today, they were all hooked up to a ring like this and they're all like for the morning round or whatever. And this is actually my patients and I'm showing y'all now. I think this is for night shift or maybe it's for tomorrow morning because these are the ones I gave. But this is what it looks like y'all. So this is what took me so long and then I had to draw blood on them. But I said all that to say, that's what takes so long with like doing the meds because I'm having to search and look make sure it's the one i need and make sure i'm not missing anything so i don't have to run back out the room or anything like that so it's just not my favorite this is the only facility that i work at that does meds like this where it's like mostly from pharmacy and a couple in the pixies so like y'all see how much i'm like stuffing back in here like it's just a heck of a lot of um different types of meds that's all in the bin like respiratory stuff and everything it's just ridiculous in my opinion so i'm gonna pass this one it's a reglan tablet let me make sure oh shoot <laughs> let me make sure before i go that 
it's not like two pills or anything crazy like that because that would be another thing that will mess me up i can't believe like i haven't eaten like at all it's like 12 o'clock so let's see girl if you don't stay in your bin okay what patient is that 10 milligrams See, like, you got to check the dosage and stuff, too, because it's, like, each individually packaged pill. So, you got to make sure. But, all right. So, hey guys. So, quick little update. I don't know if I told y'all before, but one of my patients was having shortness of breath, like, that started last night. And she had PRN breathing treatment, so they gave it to her last night. And so, again, with the same thing today, but it was to the point where she, like, was having a hard time eating. Um, she didn't want to work with physical therapy. She was so exasperated. I had called as well to get her a breathing treatment. So they came and did that. And then the second time, because it's every four hours PRN, the second time when they were going to come, well, I, when I called respiratory therapy, he was like, she said it's not really working for her. So I started looking through all the notes and stuff, because like I told y'all, I've been really busy today. I saw that they had planned that um, tomorrow, they were planning to do an ultrasound on her to see if she needs a thoracentesis or not, because she was having um, pleural effusions. So that wasn't told to me in report. They just told me like she's received a thoracentesis like some days ago. And honestly, I kind of forgot about that to like be like, oh, maybe she needs another one or anything like that. But anyway, we're here now. So I called um, the NP and I called pulmonary to tell them like she's having a hard time breathing. You know, she's using her accessory muscles and et cetera, et cetera. So pulmonary came down, the pulmonary NP. And so my patient's gonna end up having to transfer back to acute care. I told y'all at the beginning of this uh, shift that I'm in sniff, like inpatient sniff right now. So they're gonna have to admit her back to inpatient because she needs the thoracentesis, but they're not available today. They're not available to do the thoracentesis right now. They are not gonna be able to do it tomorrow because they have like a wait list basically. So they're gonna transfer her back to acute care. She's gonna be in IMU and that's what's happening i just gave her iv lasix real quick i'm fidgeting because i have to pee but yeah i just gave her iv lasix i called the respiratory therapist to place her on bipap and then whenever i get the order to transfer her she'll go to imu so fun what's up y'all so i almost forgot to update y'all about the end of the shift honestly the patient transferred and I don't really have much else to tell y'all, but I definitely did want to leave y'all hanging at the end of the shift. I mean, it was cool or whatever, but as y'all saw, like I was busy throughout the entire day. And it's like, once I got one thing I'm with control, something else started happening, et cetera, et cetera. So as y'all can see, I'm home now. I'm about to eat some dinner. My husband cooked, shout out to him. He left it in the microwave for me. I'm gonna show y'all what he made. So he made this uh, brown sugar chicken. It's bomb. And then Brussels sprouts. He has the best Brussels sprouts, no lie. So I'm about to get into that. Catch up on my little ratchet TV. I am off for two days. So I will see you guys on Saturday back at the community hospital. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the community hospital today. I already went to staffing office and I'm on the med surge unit, which I've been on several times. There's not too many units in this hospital, but currently walking back to the car because I forgot my badge. I don't know what's going on with that. This is the second time I forgot my badge. Like, I mean, it's in my car, but like I didn't put it on me before I left out. I forgot it the last time I was at work on Wednesday and now today. And I was already cutting it close with the time. I was already cutting it close with the time. So by the time I walk back, it's gonna be like 6.42 or something like that. But technically, that's still considered clocking in on time. Anytime between 6.38 and 6.45. But I just normally like clock in as soon as I can. So, uh, I guess per usual, didn't wanna to come to work today. Thought about calling in. I think I think about calling in every time I come to work. <laughs> but here we are. Let's hope today goes by good. I'm hoping for a smooth shift. No missions, no discharges. And I will touch base with you after I get report and let y'all know what kind of patients I'm taking care of today. 
So real quick, y'all, I'm about to grab some insulin for my patient, but I got report. I'll give you guys more details later, but I do have five patients and one of them is currently about to be transferred to um, to um, medical center because they need a liver transplant. So the patient, uh, blood pressure is super low, like in the 70s systolic and transport doesn't want to take them because it's so low for them. But the reason why it's low, of course, is because she needs the liver transplant. So she's currently on her second vial of albumin. They're trying to get it up. And then they had the doctor come up here because like she needs to go. So they put in like a 500 ml liter, I mean, M mLs uh, bolus, as well as the albumin that's going right now. And so that's what they're working on currently. So my thing is, why is this my patient being as though I'm a folk pool nurse? Why wouldn't you give this to a person who works here? You know what I'm saying? Granted, I do have IMU experience and et cetera, et cetera, but I don't think they know that. So why would you give an unstable patient to like a float pool person? That doesn't even make sense to me, but that's what's currently going on right now. It's still pretty early. It's 423. They're working on getting her a second IV so they can do the, um, um, what is it called? The bolus. So the night shift nurse is still kind of here. She told me she comes back tonight and I did get most of my patients from her. So that's good. And then we have a free charge nurse today. So I'm just kind of like, y'all figure it out because I'm not about to be stressed. Um, coming on to my shift early in the morning like this. Like, I'm sure her blood pressure has been low all day or all night. So why is this all just being addressed now when she's about to transfer? So. All right, you guys. So I'm outside because I'm actually waiting for my Uber Eats to get here. I ordered like some brunch. So they should be pulling up any money. But while I'm waiting for them, I'm going to give you guys like a quick rundown. I finally got that patient who had that unstable blood pressure out of here. So I'll put the note on the screen as I talk about it. But basically, we gave her like two vials of albumin. We bolused her a liter. We gave her five milligrams of mitogen. And now it's like 90, 94 or 56. So they were able to take her. So she literally just left. Um, all in all, my patients seem to be like pretty okay. One is here for cellulitis. Another one is here for um, abdominal pain. Another one, altered mental status. Hold on a second. And then another one is here for um, shortness of breath. So I think she has like pneumonia or something. She's good in IV antibiotics, but you know, that's typical from, I don't know my nose is running or something. That's typical over here. Like, I don't know why, but those are like the main things I get here. It's always like abdominal pain, always shortness of breath and always uh, cellulitis. I'm like, I've not seen so many cases of cellulitis in my life, but, um, I don't know what car that person is coming in, but it's the weekend, ain't nobody up here. But he should have been here by now. But anyway, that's the rundown. I really hope I don't get an admission. So I was five to one. So now that the other person is gone, I'm hoping I can stay four to one. I'm really hoping, but you know, I always have to just know that I'm most likely gonna get somebody. And then if I don't be like, oh good, I didn't get anybody, but. I didn't want to come to work today, as I said earlier. I haven't wanted to come to work all week. I was going to be happy because I didn't spend any money at work this week, but I'm ordering this Uber now, this Uber Eats now. Like the oatmeal, it wasn't cutting it. And honestly, I got like some low sugar or no sugar or something like that, and it's not good. So I'm just like, mm -mm, never again. I'm going back to Crakers. Literally just handed me a report sheet. All right, you guys, I am out of here. I am leaving at the time that I feel like is reasonable. Finally leaving like at 7.09. Well, technically it's 7.11 now because I have forgot um, one of the communication devices here. I had to go put it back. So 
I'm glad I'm leaving at a decent time. So I like had like one, four patients for like maybe one hour and then I went back up to five. But the shift was good overall, other than the initial start with that patient with the unstable blood pressure. But other than that, today was a good shift. I'm grateful for it. Y'all know I didn't want to be here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If you like my content, comment if you guys got anything to say. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you.